for everyone interested in this circuit that I published yesterday. I've made a separate drawing from the relay circuit and that is in my opinion uh, the most tricky part of the circuit. Because when you don't connect the relay in a proper way it doesn't work. And this is the drawing from the relay part. I hope it's visible from this distance. In the middle of the screen the relay and there are two contacts in the relay um, and in a rest position the relay contacts move to one side to make a connection from A to B and in the active position the connection is made between B and C. And um, one uh, capacitor, this capacitor, 2200 microfarad, is charged via this uh, diode. And the other cap is also charged. Uh, but there are some things to tell. This cap is charged via the diode through the relay contact. So the charge current goes this way through the lip from the relay A and B connected and then back to minus. And this one is also charged directly and in the other position, so the active position, the charge is sent into the battery and in that position we have this situation, uh, this capacitor is now connected between B and C to the upper uh, capacitor in the schematic. And at the same time this capacitor is in, uh, disconnected from the minus because here and here there, there, no current can flow when uh, B and C are connected. This is a loose end. There's no connection here. So in fact it's disconnected from the ground. But it is connected via this uh, switch to the cap in the under position. And now both caps are charged and were charged and give their energy, send their pulse into the car battery. So the drawn position is the caps are charged but um, the other position is that the caps are discharged. I uh, forgot to tell that you always need a fuse when you, use, when you work with uh, car batteries. So also a fuse to the multivibrator circuit. That's here. And that's this circuit. Completely explained in another video. So, uh, finally some panning from the circuit. I hope it's uh, clear.